Hi YouTube, it's Journey with Yvette here, and I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I have been eyeing this pen for probably a year, just to find to myself whether I should get it or not. The answer finally came up with yes. For a while it was no. <laughs> So I have an order from Jet Pens, and I'm just gonna get into it. Open it up because I've been dying not using this. Okay, dying. So it's like I don't even know what time in the morning it is. As you see, it is a Twisby, and like it says, this is a. Oh. The Vac Iris pen. It's a vacuum filling fountain pen. And the iris. The iris. <laughs> there we go, folks. Nothing like a Twisby box. Oh, that's how they did it. They cushioned it. Let's get that out. Let's get that out. Look at it and it's all its glory. It is uh it is so beautiful. Take this out. And it's gonna come out of there. Let's get this here. I'll just put this back in here. And it comes with this handy little book. It shows you how to open and close it and how to fill it. So you turn, it's a piston fill, you turn the piston, it pulls back, and then all of that space is in there, and you plunge it in, and the vacuum should suck it, the ink. That's what's supposed to happen. Um, for long-term writing, you can keep it all the way down because then the ink stays there. It just stays in you, so you're writing a long time. But um, if you're doing short-term writing, actually, see, here it is, short-term, long-term. If you're doing short-term, you don't have to do that because you can just fill it right in here, and then you don't need all that ink, so the ink kind of just stays above, you know, but you can't do this. Uh, so let, let's get to it so I can show you. This should be taped. It's usually taped. Yeah. I love this tape, actually. Like, I always want to reuse it. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. It's really beautiful. to you look at it look at all that so when you take off the cap you see how it looks look at the nib it's iridescent as well. And I'm just going to tell you right now that you're supposed to like clean the pen out before first use. Just in case of the oils and stuff that could be in here from the manufacturer and the testing. I'm testing whatever and I'm not going to do that. I am too excited. <laughs> so that's what you're supposed to do. So, uh <laughs> okay. And I just have a napkin ready. Use a paper towel. In case of mess, paper towel. Dun, dun, dun. 
Okay. And I'll show you the O-rings. Oh, it's a spare O-ring right here. That's nice. Okay, so if you turn this, oh, it's tight. There. If you turn it, you're going to watch. This is going to move. So I'm turning it toward me, which is clockwise. And you see that moving. See? See that moved away? And then you should be able to pull back. And I got a nice pin because I was able to pull back. Because I've seen some videos where they, they have a hard time pulling back. And then you plunge it in. You put it in the inkwell. And you're supposed to just go like that. And then it comes out. So let's do it. So you see, you plunge it in the inkwell. And then, boom, it's supposed to just fill it. So, let's see if that happens. Oh, I am going to use Diamine Writer's Blood. This is like one of my favorite inks. I just think it's gorgeous. And the fact that it's called Writer's Blood. You bite your neck. You know, it sounds all like a writer. Stephen King and all that kind of stuff, you know. Anyway, so here we go. Okay, so oh, my hand is in the way. I can't really tilt it. Wow, that's a good fill. <laughs> Seriously? That's pretty uh pretty accomplished. Just dabbing the nib there. Well, let's get to it. Let's see how it writes. Was that on the tightest? Let me make sure I have it on. It seems kind of loose. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now, let's see, does this post? No, it doesn't post. Posting meaning you can put the cap on the end. And I'll show you how it doesn't. I mean, you can, but it's like extra long. And so let's go with no. This is my Rhodia dot pad. I use that for my ink samplings. And pen samplings too. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Right away. Oh, I got it in a medium. I didn't even say that. I got it in a medium. Okay.
at that. Beautiful. It's so smooth. Well, you know, it's smooth like a Twisby. I mean, the Twisbees are my favorite pens and they do write very smooth, but this is beautiful and it feels beautiful holding it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it feels great. It looks great. Beautiful. Well, I'm happy. <laughs> was it worth the purchase? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. It is a beautiful fountain pen, but okay, I'm not saying go rush out and buy the fountain pen. It's something, it is a purchase. You know, it's, it's a little higher. Hold on. Sorry about that. My Alexa has an alarm. Okay, so we have established that the Twisby can write really smooth and it looks absolutely great. And of course, love this ink, Diamond White is Blood. But there's one thing I wanted to show you, which I wanted to try out so badly, which I know it works, but here's my gallon leather cover for my Hobonichi Weeks, the other one. And this pen loop, it's elasticized here and I can see it will now, but I just wanted to show you, boom, 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 that it fits. It fits this giant Twisby, which is a big deal because um, it's pretty bulbous there. So, and it doesn't really catch, if you look here, where the letters are and the numbers are, and it just, it's perfect. So this is in case anyone was thinking about getting a, a co cover or a Galen leather cover. And I was kind of thinking about getting it myself, but that's pretty important that that elastic helps hold the pen and you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, it won't fit. Right now I have my Narwhal in there. So that is good to know, folks. That's a really good to know thing. So... Here we are with the Twisby 700, the VAC 700R, and it works beautifully. Uh, the ink is wonderful. Um, everything's great. And I just wanted everyone to see just me, regular old person, buying this Twisby, and it turns out that it is awesome. And I am very happy with this purchase. And that's not saying that you need to rush out and buy this Twisby, but if you are thinking about it, since it is showing up um, kind of all over the place, I'm just going to show that I was using this. Since it is showing up, then it's a good idea. If you're thinking about it, take advantage of it right now. Um, and I wish you the best. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I came on to say. Just showing you the Twisby 700R and I just am so glad I get to use it because it was killing me not opening it. Uh, as always, it's peace and love and just going to leave you there with uh, the pen so, so you can think about it, mull it over, and hopefully if it's for you, go out and get it. You'll be happy. All right, peace and love from Journey with Yvette.